Let's go. That's right, the annual wet t-shirt contest starts in 15 minutes. So ladies, to the stage please, and let's keep those t-shirts on for now. And please, remember to dance responsibly. Ooh, I think she likes you, Johnny. What time did you tell Tori you'd be home? Around midnight. Guess we better get going then. Around midnight. It's an interpretational time. You can stay. Hi. I'm Johnny. Elaine? So you're gonna answer? Uh, I signed up, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it. What t-shirt contests are totally degrading. And um, I'm kind of shy. <laughs> oh, Tony. Hi. Hey. But uh, where else can you make five hundred dollars that fast? You know? You sure you're shy? I am. If I'm gonna do it, I want to win. I don't want to get up there and wiggle around for nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. So, do you think you can uh, talk your friends into voting for me? I think he needs evidence most severe before he can advocate independence. Aqua Dulce, Sweetwater. See? Hi. It is impossible for you to lose. Good. You can be my campaign manager. Let's see if you can run us up some boat. You got going, you got going real good. I love the way you look. Make me walk for miles just to feel the pain, cause I got inside. She's 
so hot. He so buys us around the drinks. I got anxiety. Baby, you should just stay home. You're gonna be puking guilt for months on this. Relax, dude. Who's gonna come up to you and say? Two, four, six, eight. Why should I have to wait? It's the only way. <laughs> Okay, let's run it again on the drop procedure. Check. Drop set below a ridge running along Avalanche Run called Walker's Gap. There's a small landing strip there. Two clicks east, there's an abandoned ski patrol outpost. Vita Bowl Shack. That's the structure. All right. Woods are secure around the perimeter. Myself and Dr. Goddard are the only ones who know about the drop. He's waiting outside. Is the cargo ready? We're loading right now. Good. Make this drop by sundown, we walk away with 500 grand. We miss, we die poor. Now I'll be counting on your people to make sure I breeze in and out. Then I'm back to split up the loop. Don't worry. We'll be done before you even know it. You better get going. Well, thank you. I told you you'd be done before you know it. Dr. Goddard? Yes? Hi, Matt Gilhanton. I'm the pilot. Oh, I thought the other gentleman. He had back trouble. But don't worry, we switch out all the time. Very well. So, uh, what have we got here? Well, uh, a puzzling and exciting piece of our ancient past. Hermetically isolated from the elements and ravages of time. It's been in a cryogenic pause, if you will. A suspended animation. After preliminary tests, one would better describe it as a sample of Homo erectus. Female, dating back to the Pleistocene, the Ice Era. What's interesting is that her metabolic test posed counterintuitive to traditional mammal patterns. It seems that when her body temperature warms up, she grows sluggish. But when it cools, her functions spike. Crazy. Not really. But there are species out there that can change gender or that eat their own young. Yeah, they're called liberals. Come on, you guys, uh, let's load her out. Did Johnny come in for breakfast? No, not yet. Surprised. That boy mooches free food off of me at least three mornings a week. 
He could be such a flake. A snowflake. What's the matter? To start with, uh, he didn't come home last night. This isn't my apartment. Okay, I, I, I just left here, that's all. I, uh, I was probably too drunk. I was obviously too drunk to drive. That's, that's all, I, I can't remember shit. Oh, I'm such an asshole. Okay, mate, stay calm, stay cool. Let's go. Did I? All right, all right, no condom on the floor. Uh, I did. No, I, I didn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't have, I couldn't. Johnny had a great time, sorry I gotta go. Job interview, thanks for the loan. Love Elaine, loan. Tell me I didn't give her Tori's rent. Yeah. Well, the landlord calls. Looking for rent? Johnny was supposed to drop it off last night after work. Oh, I gave her Tori's rent money. Maybe used it to buy an engagement ring. <laughs> I wish. I am. Uh, I am so screwed. Don't worry about it. You probably just got to having fun with the boys. Probably. Can I ask you a huge favor? Sure. What? Will you cover lunch for me, please? Oh, I, I really need to talk to Johnny. Please. Okay. But only if you do the job interview and the time cards before you leave. What time is the interview? 15 minutes. Oh, I gotta get moving. Thank you so much. And when you see Johnny, tell him that I need to talk to him. Shit. Preliminary research indicates that the internal workings of these creatures were very different than our own. Don't expect any circulatory system even remotely resembling ours. Their insides are more akin to those of an insect. A chick full of goo. That's pretty right. And that's where temperature comes in. The viscosity of the fluid requires that the body temperature be low. Just as our body temperature is 66 degrees above freezing, theirs wants to be 66 degrees below. 30 degrees below zero. 34, actually. That's one cold bitch. Get any last night? <laughs> he misses. He never misses. He's just a little preoccupied. Come on, Rocket Man, up the facts. Guilty or not guilty. Man, I don't remember shit after I left the bar. Honest, man. I, I don't know. Circumstantial evidence definitely points to guilt. In a court of law. Hey, yo, this isn't a court of law. Dude, if you were that drunk, you probably just passed out in her bed. You're probably okay. But you should call your landlord. If he calls Tori first, you're dead. I don't have enough money to pay him. I don't believe this. Oh, we're late. All right, check it out. Six feet below the cab. for the money at the lodge. That'll buy you some time to sort this whole thing out. Yeah, maybe. Hey, what 
be. Surprise safety check, girls. Let's make it snappy. We got a lot of work oh, to do. Oh, come on, Audrey. Come on, nothing. I'm ten years perfect safety at this resort, and I intend to keep it that way. Now let's go. Assume the positions. So, why is it in a museum instead of the back of this plane? Uh, the museums are corporate. Word would get out, deals would be made. The pharmaceutical corporations would have a field day with her. She'd wind up tagged, eviscerated, marketed to the general public. And I bet they pay a pretty penny, huh? Don't even think it. What we have begs a higher purpose. Discovery. Study of, of her magnificence. It is believed that these creatures, in their aggravated state, would neutralize an enemy or prey by piercing the skin and freezing them from the inside out. Listen, how much you think these corporations might pay? We'll never know because she's not for sale. Emergency equipment, tracking devices, compasses, spades, camel packs, three of each, you all have finders? Yep, yep. Good. Should have never called her that. Hmm. That's right. He shouldn't have, but he did. And if, God forbid, there is an accident, I'm gonna make sure he gets blamed. I'm gonna make sure he gets blamed, fired, and if it's real bad, off to jail. Let's just fire him now. Think, put him out of his misery. Dev. Yeah, I'd love to. But see, I can't just fire him for calling me a bull dyke. It was big bull dyke. <laughs> <laughs> a big bull dyke. Where were we, huh? You want to check the, the ammo or something? Let me see the fed once. Finally. Strike two. What? Your license is expired. Yeah, right. Oh, shit! One more, and I got you. The reprimand will be on my desk when you finish. You sign it before you go home. Come on, Audrey. It's just two days past. You're a mule and a spotter for the rest of the day. You do not touch ammunition or a detonation device. You got it? Yeah. Weapon down. Talonite? Where'd you get this? I don't pay you enough to buy Talonite. Do Avalanche run next and be careful. That snowpack is way too heavy up there. You hammer at the top right out of the blocks? That resort's one big igloo. Clear it off in two stages. Hit it halfway up first, then pound the peak. Understand? Got it. Yes, ma'am. One more, uh, screw up. And your ass is mine, pretty boy. She was out of earshot when I said that. Oh. You guys gonna be cool without me? Where are you going? To cover my ass. Well, we're almost ready for this blast. Just give me two minutes to clear before you hit it, all right? Ultimately, we plan to revive her, but her resurrection must be handled gently. Because? Uh, did, did you ever get your hands or feet cold in the winter? I served two years in the Ukraine. Then when you thawed them out? Hurt like hell. Same situation here, only in reverse. When we enact the thermal change, her entire body will feel that, that thawing pain. I'd wake her up quick and make her do a little shiver dance. <sighs> It's narrow thinking like that that keeps us all in a collective prehistoric morass.
Has it been two minutes yet? Thirty more seconds. Think he did her? I don't know. He didn't admit it. That the drug corporations might offer a better deal? A bidding war? Maybe they'd offer a bundle for your prehistoric cone. <sighs> Mister? Get out of my plane. <laughs> what? You heard me. Get out. Oh, it's been a great day so far. Uh. Woke up in a perfect stranger's bed. Lifetime guilt sentence for that one. Boss threatened to ruin my career and might throw me in jail. Then I almost got buried in an avalanche. Oh, I wish they could all be like this one. You're out of your mind. And you're out of my plane. Please, doctor, don't make me shoot you. Let, let, let me uh, uh, redirect my position. I'll be more than happy to help you. And you'd stab me as soon as my back is turned. I know how you feel about that popsicle back there. Now get out! Not enough nooks and crannies? <sighs> this thing's prehistoric. I always get sad when the circus leaves town. Yeah. Uh, listen, Ed, uh, <clears throat> I don't have time to explain, but I need to borrow $400. It's really important. This have something to do with your rent? How did you know about that? So when are you gonna make that niece of mine an honest woman anyway? What are you doing down there? I'm hiding from Audrey. Morning, Audrey. Morning, Ed. Listen, have you got anything left for me? Some English muffin. Oh. Thanks. So, are, are you gonna lend me the money? Did you drink it away? I think so. I, I can't exactly remember. Johnny, sooner or later, living on the edge, you fall over. One of these times, you gotta face the music on your own. Take it from a guy who's learned the hard way. I, I know, I know. 
We're all glad you beat alcoholism, Ed. Please. I, I swear this will be the last time. The last. I am too nice. I always have been. Oh, thank you. I, I promise. I'll pay you back. Okay. Oh, well, uh, Corey wants you to stop by my office. Are you going to make her an honest woman? She is already the most honest person I know, besides you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a bigger sucker. Which one of these? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry about that. Um, people kept stealing the furniture in the off-season, so my uncle had had to screw everything down. <laughs> um, so tell me, why are you interested in a job here at the lodge? I just started law school, and I need some extra money for tuition, and I need flexible hours so that I can study. Okay, great. Well, this sounds like an excellent opportunity for you. And there's such cute guys on the slopes. Oh, yes, there are. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on! Dude, check it out. Plane's flying awfully low. I don't hear an engine. It's gonna munch us. I'm out of here. Whoa, wait! I need to talk to you. The landlord called. Did you pay rent? Not yet. Hey, how are you? Oh, you guys know each other? Yeah. No. I'll just wait outside.
screwed up.
You okay? I think so. What happened? An avalanche hit. What? Tori. Tori? Where is she? Tori, can you hear me? What was that? I don't know. Hello? Anybody? Anybody? Yo! Hello? Hello? Anybody in there? Hey! Are you okay? Whoa, dude. Listen, listen. What'd she say? I think she said uh, she's under the desk. Uh, Tori? Help me dig. Okay. Okay, there it is. Just a second, sweetie. Just a second. Okay. Can you fit? Can you, can you, can you fit? I, uh, I think so. Okay. Come on. Come on. <coughs> Up again. Oh, oh my god. Are you okay, sweetie? I think so. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die in there. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, me too. Oh, me Here. too. Here, take my jacket. Here you go. Thanks for helping him dig me out, Elaine. Oh, it's totally no problem. This is so fucked. Um, what? Uh, 
Uh, nothing, nothing. Um, you guys just get comfortable and I'll try and find a way out of here, okay? How do you and Johnny know each other? Um, oh, you, you know Johnny's friend Jesse? Yeah, sure. Well, <coughs> um, uh, well, we're in a couple classes together and, uh, sometimes we study together over at his place. What loan? Excuse me? Johnny had a great time. Sorry, I gotta go. Job interview, thanks for the loan. Love, Elaine? I, I was gonna tell you about that. You were gonna tell me what? You didn't come home last night because you slept with some bimbo? I am not a bimbo. Shut up! This loan is what you did with our rent money? You spent my rent money on, on a hooker? I'm not a hooker. I'm in law school. He paid you to have sex with him. That makes you a hooker. It was a loan to help me with my tuition for next semester. You are such a slime! Do you know how hard I worked for that money? Ow! I can't believe you just did that! Oh, oh you can't believe I just did that! What about you? What about me? What? Ow! You whore! No! You bitch! Ow! Ow! You slut! I... Ow! 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 Can it, you two? We have to get out of here. Oh! Ow! God, I hope she gives you cold sores the size of Alaska. What? Come on, ooh, we gotta go. Go, we gotta go. Go. Enough already. Quit it. Enough. Enough already. Come on. Okay. Come on, boy. Find him. Come on. Come on. Sniff him out. Huh? Come here. Hang on. <laughs> I think we just got lucky. <sighs> Emergency services. Hello. Hello. This is Ed Banks up on the mountain. Oh, Ed. What do you got? It's gone. It's all gone. Calm down, Ed. What's going on? <laughs> The lodge, the lifts, everything. Oh, it must be happy hour. You gotta send everything you got. EMTs, cranes, drills. Look, Ed, you're obviously drunk again. Just try sleeping it off and you'll feel better tomorrow. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to me. There was an avalanche. It ate them all. Everyone except you? That's right. Well, then, this is your lucky day. Uh, uh, Have a drink for me, will you, Ed? Hello? No, hello? Damn it! You didn't believe me, boy. Damn. Hello? Is anybody out there? Inside to out. I'm so sorry. You're a pig. I know. I. Uh, what can I say? I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Go see if there's anyone around here. Uh, you two wait here. And no more fighting.
Are you okay? No, of course I'm not okay. You shouldn't hate him, you know. He loves you. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. I can understand you hating me and hating Devlin. What does Devlin have to do with any of it? <laughs> well, I told you Devlin's in my ethics class, right? Yeah. Well, we were studying together one time, and I told him that I was short on my tuition money for next semester, and that I was totally stressed about it. He said that he would give me $500 if I would pick up on his friend. And you went for that? I know, right? At first, I'm all like, no, what do you think I am, a hooker or something? Then we talked some more, and he said, just meet up with him and check out this guy, Johnny, and if I didn't want to do it, then just forget the whole thing. So you met up with him? Yeah, and he's like, pretty buff. <laughs> Sorry, of course you know that. Anyway, I was a little drunk and I really liked him. So I thought, rock on. Rock on? Well, Devil never told me he had a girlfriend, so I figured, why not? Um, I can think of a lot of reasons why not. Uh, anyway, we got back to my place, and all he did was talk about how much he loved you. And I'm all like, oh my god, nobody told me about a girlfriend. So th what about the money? It was just a loan, I swear to god. I was going to pay him back with the money I made working here. Anyway, he made me promise to tell his friends the truth, you know, that nothing happened between us. And then he gave me the money, and he passed out. He just, he just passed out? I swear. He was like, right in the middle of a sentence, and he just checked out. And I couldn't wake him up, so I put him in bed. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Pinky swear I am. Yeah? Yeah. There's no one around. I guess it's just us. Great. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hey! Hello? We're in here. Yeah? Hello? Hey! hey. Oh. Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm John. This is Tori and Elaine. It is good to see another human being. Uh, I'm Thomas Goddard. I'm a doctor. Is everyone here all right? Yeah, a couple scrapes and bruises, but nothing too bad considering. What happened to you? Where, where were you in the hit? In an airplane. What? It's a long story. Let me ask you, have you noticed anything unusual since all this happened? Well, yeah, I like the roll flying on my head for one. Yeah, they didn't cover that in the manual. Have you seen any other survivors? No, just us so far, but um, there's got to be others. I, I say we try and find a way out of here. I am so for that idea. I wonder if the whole building's buried or if it's just us. I don't know my way around this place too well. No, oh, I do. I, I say we head down this way towards the concessions, see how it looks down there. Uh, do you think we'll find anybody on the way? Maybe. Why, were you with someone? Yes, we got separated in the crash. Oh, well, come on, let's go. Hello? 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 Johnny? Dev? Anybody?
They're fancy boys, huh? Come on. Good God. Did you find anything? No. Johnny! Jess? Johnny! Guys! Guys! Jesse, what? Um, what happened to you? Are you all right? I... This whacked out chick clawed my face. She looked hurt. And she ripped me, man. Right, here, let's have a look at that. Oh. Uh, give me some cloth. Oh. Now this might hurt a little. Sorry, sorry. What did she look like? Her face was really funky. She was way off the hook in the manners department. I mean, look at me. Yeah, I know. Perhaps she was frightened by the avalanche, or she was hurt, you said. Sometimes people react oddly to calamity. No, she didn't say anything. She just cut me. It looks like she really tried to hurt you. Did you make any aggressive moves? I... Whoa! What? What was that? It's her. Her? What? She's in pain. We have to help her. I am not helping any weirdo freak. I'm out of here. Go, Elaine! I'll get her. Doctor, what did you mean when you said, it's her? I meant I recognized the cry. Well, sounds like you know who did that to Jesse. Yes. As I mentioned, I was traveling with a companion, a foreigner, from another culture, one that's very different from ours. Where? An exotic place. 
extreme. She sounded like some kind of crazy animal with that... Crying? Yes. Like cats in the woods can so sound like human babies crying. Fascinating, isn't it? Uh, not if people are getting hurt. Again, she might be scared. Perhaps your friend frightened her. I, I mean, it's not every day you get buried by an avalanche, foreigner or not. We really have to find her. She must be terrified. And you say she's not dangerous? Nothing we can't handle. You'll see. Yeah. We'll wait till Jesse gets back, then we'll go. We will, okay? I promise. Easy now. Eat just easy. It's all right. I'm not going back there. Did you hear those screams? I did. Elaine, look. Our strength is in numbers. Five of us against one drunk bitch? Shit. Did you hear that noise? I did. But her bark is worse than her bite, believe me. Yeah, look at your face. She just surprised me, that's all. She wasn't even that big. Come on, five against one? Five against one. Okay, but let's just get out of this stupid place right now. We will, I promise. Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're pretty when you're scared? Because <laughs> you are a player. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> oh, God, I'm so thirsty. Not supposed to eat snow. Only makes it worse. Thirsty, damn it. Okay. okay. Let's go. So me and Dev booked down the hill and ran in the lodge and all hell broke loose. Watch your head. Can we just sit down for a minute, please? Yeah. Man, she really hurt you. That's terrible. It's cold in here, it helps. You know, you're not just pretty when you're scared. You're always pretty. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah? Yeah. Slow down, what's the big up for? She took him, she grabbed him, she dragged him down a whole hole. Easy, easy, calm down. Who grabbed who? That, that, that blue wrinkly bitch, like, took, took Jesse. We were just sitting there and she grabbed him and dragged him down a fucking hole. Okay, where did this happen? Down there, that way. And what was this thing? I don't know. Some screaming fashion bitch thing. The yowls. 
Yeah. Oh, that's what that was. I heard it. First she, she, she cut his face, and then she dragged him. All right, calm down. Calm down. Listen. Let's go back there, okay? No, no, we'll, I'm not. No, we'll I'm not. Go back there, and we'll find your friend, okay? Look, don't worry. No bad fashion bitch is gonna fuck with me. Come on. This is it. This is where she got him. And there's Devlin. Easy. Don't! Don't get too close. There's no crazy bitch down there. Thank God. I'm sorry about your friends. Yeah, me too. Come on. Let's blow this hole. Fans, Audrey, where's Jesse? <laughs> it killed him. What? what? What do you mean? She means your friend is dead. What? what? <laughs> it killed Jesse and Devlin. Somebody, something <laughs> got a hold of your friend, turned him into a frozen food display. Goddard. Well, I, I can't believe. Think. This is the second time he's had contact with her. Something happened between them. I don't know what it was originally, but it, it must have flared up again. She had to defend herself. I was kissing him at the time, and she grabbed him and dragged him down a fucking hole. And when we got back, just his little pieces. Oh, Elaine. So. Let's take an inventory here, eh, Doc? I mean, first you get Jesse and Devlin attacked and shredded. And, um, by the way, you're not looking so hot yourself. So what is it, huh? You been dancing with this ice bitch? Please, keep it civil. There's nothing civil about mutilated people. When we find her, then you'll see we're blowing this way out of proportion. Oh. This guy's on drugs. All right, everyone just calm down. Look, the most important thing right now is for us to get out of here before we freeze to death, and that's not gonna happen until we keep on moving. All right, so follow me. I keep telling her.
looky here, Patch. It's like we got lucky. <laughs> I always knew this Christmas present would come in handy. All they ever want is CDs. All right, come on, Patch. Let's try again. It's coming up on night by now, which means it's going to be colder, which means she's going to be meaner. No, the opposite. Who asked you? She's healthier when it's cold, uh, more metabolically comfortable, angered less from the torment of bodily pain. That is one tweet, compadre, you've got there, Doc. Look, pain, Schmain, I need some heat. Who's with me? A fire? Something. Oh, I'll slide back down and see what I can find. For yourself? He's a big boy. Be careful. Why did you fucking dance with her, huh, Johnny, you jackass? Just a reflex, that's all, man, it's just a reflex. I love Tori, I, I, I love Tori. Tori, I love you! She knows. It's, it's, it's no big deal. I, what is she breaking my... Fingers hurt. Oh, I was trying to get back. Hello, everybody. It's just me. I'm coming in. Hey, what you got for us? Uh, not much. Just some blankets, uh, if we can use them. She knows we didn't do it. Here, give me one of those. Okay, people. Seeing how this is the coldest room in the joint, with no exits that I can see, I say we double back and find a room towards the front that's a little warmer. She might be right. Might be? Come on. Just 
definitely be here by now. Wait, did you hear that noise? Maybe someone's trying to reach us. I think it's coming from in there. Yeah, it's coming from in there. Hello? Hello? Hello, it's us. We're... The kitchen. find something. Yeah, I'll help. Hang in there, Elaine. I guess that was pretty stupid, what I did. No, I think it was brave. Here, here. Put your head right here. Oh, this is so sweet. The banquet room. There'll be napkins and tablecloths in there. You should work for bandage strips. If I hadn't seen it myself. Look, that's one nasty date you've got there, Doc. One to be respected, that's for sure. Yeah, or club to death. You can't extinct a species just because you fear it. The lion tamer doesn't kill the lion because it's dangerous. He learns how close he can or cannot get to it. Well, well, well. There she blows. <laughs> Out of my way, Doc. It's showtime in Bitch Town. Look at her. She's magnificent. The original fight or flight instinct. Glorious. Glorious. Bring it on, Snow White. can't just keep running around, we need a plan. Okay, well, when we were in the attic, you went to go for fire, blankets, or whatever it was. Yeah. All right, well, there was a vent fan, and vents lead to fresh air, which leads to outside, right? So, we should go and find a... I'm going in. Get out of here. Ah! Hit the edge. 
got its way! Here's, here's a letter, come on. You go first. Everybody, the EMTs. Yeah, they're supposed to be here by now. They're not coming. I guess. I guess. The... Come on, let's go. Move it and move it. Come on, you guys, run. Come on, you guys, let's go. Oh, oh, hold up a sec. Oh, I got an idea. Uh, you two head up uh, towards those trees. If this goes south, just just hightail into the woods. Oh. Never mind, just get out of here, all right? Okay, be careful, John. All right. I gotta get my body temperature down. If I'm not crazy, which is entirely possible. God damn it! <laughs> what this chick wants. Is a wet me shirt contest. Hey, sweetheart! Over here! So, how's your day, hon? Girlfriend. Lost my job, missed my rent. Got trapped and buried in a ski lodge. And picked up little pieces of my friends with tweezers. How about you? Looks like she nicked you a little bit there, huh? 
knew this had come into good use. Oh, thanks. No. Close your eye. That ought to clean it up good. Hey, Tori. Yeah? Tori, I want to say how sorry I am about everything. Everything. When it got dicey back there, I realized how how shattering it would be if, if you weren't around anymore, if something happened to you. I realized I couldn't handle my life if you weren't in it. And well, I was wondering if this Johnny. Just promise to pay me back. Thanks, Ed. I will. Tori? Will you marry me? That's enough of that. You got a long walk out of here. DNA.